Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sessions with Cat. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute because I got wore out from those lives. Even though like a couple of them were recorded, I got worn out. But I'm back full force. A little bit more healing took place. And, you know, here we are. So, new deck, new chit chat. Y'all ready? First off, have y'all been drinking y'all water? It's hotter than Hades outside. Are y'all hydrated? Are y'all eating lighter but, you know, full of meals like, you know, a salad or something like that? Like, don't eat anything too heavy. You don't want to walk outside and throw up, right? So, I, I just want to make sure y'all good. I hope y'all good. All right, some updates. So, I have implemented my new little healing system um so that's implemented so if you would like to book an appointment you can just email me you can contact me details in the description um if you're on instagram guess what instagram took away my book now button i don't know why they must hate me and it's kind of fucking rude, but here we are. Um, <laughs> so if you would like to book with me and, and you could just send me an email or if you are, you have my number, you can, sh you know, shoot me a text. I will get you all set up. So that's that. Uh, I do have an event coming up next month, but, you know, I'll speak on that later. If you're in the area, you can come see me at that. I think it's the 80s fest because i was at the hippie fest a couple weeks ago so i think this is the 80s fest that's coming up which i'm excited about uh that being said i think that's all the updates let's do this <laughs> let's get into it so um what are we talking about today because we love spirit <laughs> um destroying ourselves for other people and why the fuck you shouldn't be doing that um I hope you don't. Uh, so this is a brand new deck. Okay. If you get this deck, this, listen, I almost broke a nail trying to get into this. Like, even though, like I had to, op I had to pull this apart first before I came on camera, because as you can see, it was a little bit of a struggle. I damn near broke a nail trying to get this bitch open, but you know, that's that. Medicine keeper, visionary, wise one, you are invited to rise into your remembering. I'm hoping I like this deck. I saw it, it called to me, so I picked it up. So I hope you guys like it too. I hope you guys can see all that. Um, so let's talk about it. So I'm gonna make this uh, statement because Spirit wants me to make this statement. The book is not in color nor are there images in here for some of you that you know y'all might not be happy about it but um it is what it is I, I don't use books so it's okay with me um but it has uh ceremonies in here and looks like for some of them well, for all of them they have a healing affirmation so if that is your thing do your thing um here's the statement you do not need to destroy yourself to help others. You do not need to destroy yourself to help others. Show of hands as if I can fucking see them, but show of hands who does who who's who's been doing that? Who's been breaking themselves to assist others, right? Who's who's breaking themselves? I, I hope you are not right but apparently a lot of us are and it's killing us it's destroying us right there's a a, a spirit want me to take it back so i'm gonna take it back all right so different ways of life have different things that they like different um set of like principles that they go by right um i'm gonna give you the taoist one because they're right here in front of me um there are some like hindu ones there are 
Um, if you're, you know, pagan, Wiccan, you guys have attributes as well. But I'm going to give you the 16 Taoist ones. And you use this on behalf of others. So in helping other people, right? Mercy, gentleness, patience, non-attachment, control, skill, joy, spiritual love, humility, reflection, restfulness, seriousness, effort, controlled emotion, magnanimity, <laughs> that's a word, <laughs> and concentration, okay? You would use these um, attributes when you're helping another. For some of you, that translates to compassion, sympathy, empathy. For others, it could just be simply just of being, um, being of service, um, or what some of us call seba or seba, depending on how you pronounce it, I pronounce it seba. Um, just you being of service and you're not attached to the outcome of it, right? You simply do the best that you can with what you have. But notice in all of that, none of it says break yourself. And I want you guys to pay attention to that. None of this says break yourself, okay? None of it. I want to make sure I'm in, in the frame. None of this says break yourself, right? That's the back of the box. No one told you to hurt yourself to help another. I want you guys to know that. No one said you needed to do any of that. No one. No one said, hey, in order to save this person's life, you have to break yours. Mm -mm. You don't have to destroy your world to help another. Okay? You do the best you can with what you have at that time to assist another. But first and foremost, make sure your cup is full. Make sure you are giving to yourself before you give to others. And I am literally calling myself out. Okay? Because if you know me, if you've ever had any type of work done by me, um, and, and again, the, the things are changing, but if you know me, then you know that when I help, I help. I get to the point where I am hurting myself to help another. Is that fair to both parties? No, absolutely not. It is not fair. It's actually doing more damage to both people because in my brokenness, I'm trying to heal another person's brokenness and it just begets more brokenness, right? Walk in a good way. There you go. And that's not what we're meant to do. While, yes, we're meant to help uplift others and uh, help others see, see their way through their path where we can, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to break our whole being to help them see, right? Because people are going to see if they want to see. Someone's only going to accept help if they want the help, right? And granted, like, I get it. Like, sometimes, you know, some services are not affordable. Okay, I'm going back because um, I'm trying to see something. I like the same girl, different earrings, different colors. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know if y'all caught that either, but I caught it real quick. Um, it gives the same. I, I'm okay with that because it's kind of like a, um, a journey, if you will. So I'm okay if it's the same like girl, right? 
Um, some people don't want help. And some people want to suck you dry. Those, you know, what we like to call the energy vampires of the world. Some people want to suck you dry. They don't want the help. They just want your energy. And we as open and loving, unconditionally loving as we are, we have to be mindful of who actually wants help and who's just taking our light. And I know for me, I, me personally, I do encounter a lot of people who simply just want the light. They don't actually want help. They just want the light. And they will flat out fucking tell me that that's what they want. And I'm like, that's rude. But at the same time, like, I appreciate you being nice about it. You know, like, let me know beforehand uh, that I need to be guarded. Right. But we don't have to break ourselves. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about what breaking ourselves means. A lot of times breaking ourselves means putting on a mask, being something that we are not. We could do this for a parent who traumatized us or may be continuing to traumatize us even in adulthood. We might do this for friendships, um, romantic relationships any type of kinship, you might find yourself uh, kind of breaking yourself just to fit in, just to feel connected. That's, that's not your job. That's not your job. If someone wants help, you'll assist. If someone doesn't want help, then you don't, there's nothing for you to offer. And that might sound a little bit selfish, right? Because we want to help where we can, right? But if it was not asked of you, who are you helping? If no one asked you, who are you helping? And why would you continuously uh, destroy yourself if it wasn't asked of you, right? And I, I want you guys to understand, I'm not coming at this from any type of like narcissistic type of point of view because you get some people go well i never asked you to do that okay that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that if it was not asked of you why did you give it or why are you continuing to give it especially if you're hurting it's okay to stop now if that person gets mad that you stop doing something whose business is that they can take it up with whoever they need to take it up. You you give them some papers and go, okay, go see HR. That's what you do, right? They got a grievance. Go see HR, right? It's not your job to overcompensate for someone's lack of being humane, right? It's not your job to give, 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 and never receive anything now i'm not saying you should be looking for you know um any type of fruit because of your actions or because of your helping someone however there has to be a solid energy exchange right it can't just be this way right you give you give you give it, it eventually it, it has to rotate right it has to alternate between the two there has to be some sort of energy exchange if there's not, then guess what? You're just breaking you. You're breaking that whole solar plexus of yours because that's typically where we give our, we give from, right? That is an action-based chakra. So we'll give from that. Let, let me tell you right now. I'm going to tell you what I tell myself all the time. Stop doing that shit. Stop breaking yourself for some dumbass relationship that you know good and fucking well ain't going nowhere. Especially if they can't view you in the right light. Right? Because you might be looking at it one way and they on a whole nother spectrum looking at it from a whole different way. And you're like, that's not it at all. Right? So then you try to help. You try to assist and thinking like, well, if I just do this, if I just do this, if I just do this. If you have to break 
completely destroy who you are as a person to salvage a relationship, that relationship should end. That is my personal and professional opinion. Um, don't judge me, judge your mama. Okay. Um, sometimes change is good. Sometimes change is good, right? I don't want any of you walking around breaking yourself just because you think that that's the right thing to do either. Your, your guys didn't tell you that that's the right thing to do. In fact, your guys over here telling you to stop doing that, right? Because you want to sleep at night. You want to feel better. You want to not feel drained. It's interesting that this card is here because um, I was going to. Uh, I was thinking about hosting the class on creating your own personal medicine bag. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments, please. And um, shameless plug here. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and um, all that jazz because love you. <laughs> but stop. Breathe. Right? Now we can think we can take this on a, a, a number of levels. And the reason why I kind of pause there is because spirits like which way you want to go. I'm like I don't know which way y'all want to go. Um, let's start with relationship, rom romantic relationships. If you know me, I am who I say I am. No ifs, ands, or buts. I that is me, right? I, it's straight, no chaser, like I, I just like I like my drinks, right? I am who I say I am. And I if I meet a person and they're like, well, um, I want my woman to do this, then go find one to do it. I will I will flat out tell someone to do that, right? If that's what you want, and that is not something that's in my arsenal, and it doesn't really sit right with my spirit, I'm going to need you to go find somebody to do that. Bye. <laughs> like, that's, that's me, right? I'm not going to break myself to be what someone else wants me to be. Especially if they're not being that for themselves. Okay? So, okay. Uh, side note, this is a pretty purple. Just gonna put that out there. That is royal. Like nobody's business. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm also here for the turquoise that's sitting in there. But anyway, um, and it's a purple rose. Okay, too too much stuff popping on at me. Sorry, 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 sorry. But when you come to a romantic relationship, especially if it's something that's just beginning, or if you're kind of renewing yourself in your current relationship, you need to get on the same page of how you're being viewed and if that person's taking you for granted or not right when i get i'm not trying to be nobody's mama in no relationship that's um it's not cute <laughs> i ain't, i ain't got no kids none living right um i'm not trying to be your mama i'm also not trying to be viewed as a teacher because then I'm simply only teaching you something. And then when the lesson's over, it's time for me to bounce. Right? That, that's a short-term way of thinking. Right? If you can't see beyond that, like see longevity with me in a romantic type of way, um, then what am I really there for? And what are you really there for? Right? So... When we say don't break ourselves, don't destroy yourself, do not break your core, okay? Be exactly who you are. And those who love it will cherish it. And those who don't will try to take it, take advantage of it or take you for granted. And then you're just going to be like, I'm out, right? When it comes to, like, especially if you're rebuilding your relationship, um. You shouldn't have to break every part of you to rebuild. If the platform is that fucked up, you need to start the platform 
fresh, brand new, right? You can't you can't fix that unless you're putting a bunch of sturdy ass boards and trying to you know build something to keep it balanced. When you should just start over, right? Take each other out on dates and stuff like that. Relearn each other, right? When it comes to family, right? Like you know mother father kinship. Same. You are who you are. And if you've experienced trauma with that person, it's okay to say, like, look at that person and go, yeah, they hurt me. They can't hurt me anymore. I don't have to break for them any longer. If they don't like it, deuces. Like, this is that's not my journey, right? My journey is to come to a place where I feel peace within. Do not destroy yourself for that person. If that person is unwilling to listen to you, right? Because you get some people like that too. I ain't gonna lie to you. You're gonna get some people like that who's just like, uh, I'm the especially parents, right? Yeah, I I'm your mama. You you didn't huh? We're adults (laughs) at this point, right? Because you don't have that proper connection with that person to say, Yes, you're my mother and I should respect you and I should just take whatever you say, right? Uh uh-uh. uh, at this point, we're adults. Okay. We can speak on an even tone. If you are unwilling to hear me, that is your problem. I'm still going to say what I need to say. If you choose to walk away, walk out, leave, do whatever you have to do, that's on you. But I'm not going to break myself to get you to hear me. If you didn't feel like hearing me, there's no point in, in even wasting that breath. Do not break yourself for anyone, okay? Ooh, I was hoping the medicine wheel was going to be in here. You don't need to break yourself. You don't need to break yourself to help a stranger either. Y'all, these cards are thick. That's why I'm like over here like, you know, picking them up funny. These suckers are thick, which is fine with me, but like (laughs) these suckers are thick. Uh, Don't break yourself for a stranger either. and. By that, I mean, you don't want to put yourself in a position where helping someone in the it turns out in the end to really be more damaging on you um, in the future. You don't really want that. Dear, for a summer solstice, really? Well, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Okay, Buffalo, come through. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Distractions. But I'm curious, where do you guys, and you don't have to put this in the comments, okay? Um, but ask yourself this question Where are you breaking yourself for someone else's benefit? And how can you begin the process of stopping that? That makes sense. That yeah, makes sense. I love that. I keep hearing this corn spirit. Corn spirit. And I paused there so that you guys actually have time to think about it. But where are you breaking yourself for someone else's benefit? And is it benefiting you? Is it benefiting you? Is it benefiting the world? Your community? Or is it essentially breaking? Is it breaking down things that were built up to make the situation stronger? Pay attention to that for yourself. See how see where it sits in your body, right? Like tune in to yourself.
these cards are really they're vibrant which i love they're full like chock full of energy because my fucking hands are vibrating like nobody's business and i think this could be really good for those of you who um do any type of native work uh or like if you're really tapped into your ancestral line i think this this deck could be beneficial it really is a personal deck i don't think you should be reading someone else with this deck this really feels like a personal deck Ooh, i'm glad tobacco is in here um, this is definitely a personal deck. Uh, I think if you were to read someone with this, you would need to kind of pair this deck with another one. I'm like, you need to pair it with probably like a tarot deck or like playing cards, something like that. You'll need to pair it. Um, that way you can get a, a fuller picture and a fuller idea of what spirit is trying to say for that person that you're reading. But as, as far as like personal readings go, you can get what you need just from the card. That's the vibe I'm getting from this deck. I love how the nails are the same color. Uh, so back to our message. <sighs> We are meant to show compassion. We are meant to show empathy and sympathy. However, we are not meant to take any bullshit. We're not meant to do any harm, but you're also not meant to take any bullshit. And if you feel like somebody's just trying to deliver that, um, you package it back up and and, and return the sender. And in a, a a decent way, please and thank you. Nobody's saying retaliate. What we're saying is it is not your job to keep someone's bullshit within your, uh, in, uh, in your over your threshold and allow it to break you. It is your job to begin healing and to be breaking those little generational standards. And we're not going to call them curses because it's really not curses. You breaking, you breaking tradition fucked up traditions right if you're if you're looking at the family line if you're looking at relationship you're breaking up any bullshit that's not for either one of your highest goods right and also because i want to get to this point too and spirit just reminded me do not break yourself for yourself and i said what i said i said what i said This is fitting because when I do Akashic Records and Soul Retrievals, there's always an owl present. Always an owl present. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But do not break yourself for yourself. And what that means is your mind can play tricks on you. Your mind can cause you to, to fuck up some shit, right? It, you just fuck shit up. Don't feel like everything your mind tells you is true right and then y'all probably like well then how i'm supposed to trust my intuition if your intuition speaks very differently than what your mind speaks right like if you know me i know when intuition is talking i also know when my mind is speaking here's how when intuition is talking if you've ever had a reading by me when spirit is speaking when my intuition is kicking in i stopped cussing not not that i you know like i still cuss a little bit like don't don't think it, like i just completely stopped cussing but there's not as many cuss words coming through right that's usually a sign that i didn't hit that train of energy that spirit wants me to just go you know and spit it out when my mind is all the way there then you know every other word might be a cuss word because my mind be on one right um the human mind can really play tricks on us especially if you're anxious right if you're dealing with anxiety panic right if you're dealing with loneliness or anything like that your mind can go well 
you know, you should do this. Mm -mm, don't, your mind will give you intrusive thoughts, basically, right? Your intuition says, um, dear, let's go eat something, right? It's going to give you something a little bit more logical to do versus what your, your lower self will tell you to do. So just kind of pay attention to that for yourself because sometimes we go and break ourselves and for ourselves and it, 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 it we end up fucked up from all different types of ways we end up fucked up so just kind of pay attention to your own your own bullshit right instead of trying to pay attention to others and then some you know some of y'all who are getting into um this type of work healing work or, or doing readings or whatever if you don't situate your fucking energy before you work on somebody um like please and thank you because some of y'all be out here like i'm about to do readings and i'm looking at y'all like you gonna hit yourself first though like because you you out here about to slap people with this old fucked up energy i'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need you to, like get grounded and centered before you like get yourself grounded and centered before you go and help someone because you if you all fucked up you you gonna fuck that person up because your shit will mix in with their shit and that's the last thing you want it's always 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 best practice to kind of get some breath work in or get grounded and centered however you do that before you read a person before you do energy work on a person please and thank you please and thank you because some of y'all be sending people to me and i'll be like who the hell worked on you? I'll be mad. And uh, some of y'all know. I'll be looking at y'all like, Jesus, your, your chakra all the way over here is twisted, bent, cut. Like, and I'll be ready to fight. Right? And I don't want y'all to be out here, you know, trying to get your business up and whatnot. And, you know, y'all don't know what to do before you start working on a person. You, you got to get you together. It, it, that's part of destroying oneself gets you together and when you're destroying the, the lower part of yourself the ego right but you don't want to destroy your higher self and that's what i mean by destroying yourself do not break your entire being for another person for to, to help another person that's not your job it's not your job i love you please don't do that all right that's not your job what is your job however is to stay hydrated because you know that's the thing right stay hydrated make sure you're eating good right and if you can help another you you can do that but you got to make sure you good first right that's why like on an airplane they tell you to secure yours first right they tell you to secure yourself first before helping someone else that's not selfish. It's being smart because you can't help someone else if you fucked up. So, ooh, okay. I'm through with a nice ancestral card. Okay. Um. So that being said, stay hydrated. Stay motivated. Figure out your why for going along this journey, right? Make sure you're eating. Make sure you're you're staying cool, especially if you're in an area where the sun is on hay, on hail, okay? Because that's literally what it is. Like here is like damn near 100 degrees and all the bugs come out and I just feel some type of way. If you know me, you know I don't, I don't do bugs. I don't do bugs. But, you know, the bugs be out and I be over here like, all right, let's let's light it up because like, i don't like i don't i don't like bugs but stay hydrated make sure you're eating well make sure you're staying cool make sure and if you're in a colder climate right stay warm make sure you're eating good make sh still make sure you're hydrated right make sure you're hydrated on every level spiritually mentally emotionally financially make sure that you are hydrated Okay, make sure that, you know, 
you understand that you are doing the best you can with what you have at this moment right now. And if you need assistance, you are not afraid to reach out for that because you know in the end it creates more abundance, not just for you, but for the person that's assisting you, right? So everybody wins. Just remember that. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. Now, for some, depending on what you're asking for, you might have to pay for it, but it's still okay to ask for help. And sometimes, you know, most most healers and whatnot, they'll work with you, right? Um, if you if you're in need of healing work and whatnot, but don't be afraid to ask for help. Okay. Now, I don't know who need to hear this, uh, but yeah, there's a reason this card is coming up. And I know for me, I need to hear it, but there's also for somebody else. Um, one or two of y'all need to go and clear the land around your home because it's fifty shades of fucked up. So you want to get some pure as as pure as you can tobacco and kind of do some work on the on the land you know give up a little little offering for me i know i need to do it it's just a matter of how to do it without disturbing you know the neighbor's land and all of that stuff so get on it and with that please be safe and know that i wish you all the brightest of blessings. Bye.